Hello, today we're going to have a look at the effect of uh, an increase in tax on different products. We're going to consider two different products today, one being an inelastic good, one where demand is not responsive to a change in price, and the other being an elastic good, a good where possibly if we change the price, the demand will change um, quite responsively to it. So let's have a look and see what happens. First thing to remember is that supply pays the tax. We sometimes assume that demand pays it. We think that we as consumers pay that tax uh, because it gets passed on to us in terms of a higher price. Not actually the case, although we do usually end up paying it. So, let's have a look and see what happens. Let's imagine a tax of one pound on each good. So, let's add that pound on. Let's imagine that both goods start at five pound. And let's add a pound on. Now, if we draw up a parallel supply line, we can then start to consider what happens. S plus tax. S plus tax. Now, we can already see a slight difference between the two, but we need to look at who pays the tax and what does our equilibrium points tell us. Well, first, let's look at our inelastic good. We've gone from point A, here originally, to point B. Well, what does that tell us? The price has gone up to possibly £5.80. We're right up towards the £6. And what that tells us, if we do our line down here, and we do it across, that the producer will only pay this small amount. Our consumer, on the other hand, is liable for a vast amount. And you can see this in the price increase from £5 to £5.80. Well, let's look at our elastic good and let's see what the difference is. This time, we've gone from point A to our S plus tax line, takes us to point B. We can already see we might only be at 5.20. We haven't gone up a lot. And if we go and extend that down, well, look on here. This whole area here is going to get, have to be paid by the producer. They're going to have to absorb that. They can't pass it on because they'll lose demand. The consumer is only liable for a small amount. In this case, just 20p. Think of the products that usually have taxes placed on them. We might have fuel, alcohol, tobacco. All of them fall into our inelastic goods. All of them products that we assume that we'll have to pay the tax. Well, we probably will, but by using supply and demand diagrams, we can show why.